Howdy folks, and welcome back to my Star Wars Zild Republic tips and tricks section. And today we're going to talk about a super serious issue coming up in the uh, later chapters of Knights of the Fallen Empire, the new expansion. How to kill off one of two particular characters, either Eric Jorgen or Kaleo Janus. So, if you've ever passionately disliked these characters, this then is your moment to go ahead and find a way to kill them. So the first thing up is that the first part of this actually happens in Chapter 12, Visions in the Dark. So it's really important that you set this up correctly, otherwise you're going to miss the opportunity on whatever character you want to make sure that they're annihilated on. Right now, I'm on my Jedi Shadow. I'm going to go ahead and walk in and start this cutscene. And I'm going to go ahead and spacebar through. The build-up dialogue here isn't really important. I'm going to take you right to the choices that actually matter. That Okay, this is the face first major decision. So when Lana Benico asks the question, who do you want with you at the relay station? Alright, what she's really saying is who is in charge of the attack on the relay station. Whoever is in charge of this attack is immune to death in the later cutscene. Okay, so if I pick Eric Jorgen now as in charge of this attack, then he will be immune to death in the later cutscene. Okay, I can't stress that enough. Same thing with Kaleo. So this is this is the first and most critical choice you have to make. Because whichever character is in charge, the opposite character will then eventually disobey orders, and it is that character who then you can eventually choose to have die. Alright, so now that I've said that enough. Uh, in this particular case, I really don't like Leo Janus pretty much at all. So, uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and select Major Jorgen. However, if it's Major Jorgen you don't like, then make sure that you pick Kaleo Janus. Hope I made that abundantly clear. Again, this happens in Chapter 12, Visions in the Dark, right at the start, and you have to make sure that you select very carefully which character you want to have die by making sure that the character you want to have live is in charge. If we can't take control of the Gemini frequency, we'll have to destroy it. Havoc Squad has the firepower for that job. Without me there to slice that relay station, major malfunction suicide run... Alright, I'm gonna space bar through the uh, rest of this. That's not really the important part. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video, and the next major time that we have to face with the decision is not until the end of the next chapter, chapter 13. Uh, which is Profit and Plunder. So guys, I hope you're enjoying this video, and uh, like I said, I'm going to see you guys in just a minute, uh, but of course some serious time will have passed and I'll have completed two whole chapters till we can actually get to that moment. Alright, we'll see you All in right, a minute, folks. guys. So, I've gone ahead and finished up uh, Profit and Plunder. I'm at the end of this now, so this is chapter 13. And as I walk through these doors, we're going to have a cutscene with uh, Kaleo Janis and Eric Jorgen. So, uh, let me show you the conversation options to get to use to get to kill the character that you have selected. All right, so here we go. It's very simple, guys. Uh, the main thing is here: you cannot at any time say I'm grateful for you guys to be alive, and that I'm glad to see you, or that I want anything to be okay. You have to pick option three which is the kind of the a-hole jerk option most of the time the whole way through and I'll show you I'm just gonna space bar through all this so if you check if you pick number one I'm glad you're both alive that will automatically default into not having the kill option uh, because on some level you're saying to the game designers and the, the conversation pathway that you want somebody to be alive you may still get the exile option, but you will not get the kill option. The only way to start getting the kill option is to be the jerk, right from the start. Pick option three. Enough. I'm going to space bar through the rest of this. Same thing. Okay. Uh, incompetence must be punished. Fiasco. Alright. Uh, now, for here, you can pick any one of the three choices, but continue with just number three, straight up. So, don't forget, I picked Eric Jordan to lead the mission. Therefore, it was Kaleo at the end of chapter, uh, the previous chapter, who disobeyed my orders. And therefore, since she broke orders, it's up to her to be punished. Alright, so my sanction will be swift. I'm just gonna space bar this. And there it is. Bang, number three. Your punishment is death. Okay? And the only way that comes up is if you make sure that you continuously pick the 
option number three for this conversation. I've tried some of the other branching pathways, and that is definitely the most consistent way to get here. You've got to say that I don't care about, you know, you guys both failed me, you failed this mission, etc. You get to option three here. And if you do push option three, she will die, okay? That's about it, guys. I'm actually going to go ahead and click that so you guys can see the cutscene. But dangerous. if you decide to go a different way, make sure you yourself. escape out of this Serving conversation very quickly. Chance, and it'll undo There's it, no coming back which is what I'm about failure. to do. What are you going to do? Kill me? <laughs> My very light side <laughs> Jedi would not actually do this, but... Alright, so I'm escaping out of that. But there you go, guys. So that is how you do it. So it comes in three different parts. Uh, in... The chapter Visions in the Dark, you have to select uh, Eric or Jorgen to lead the mission. Whichever one you select to lead the mission is immune to prosecution in this part. Uh, then at the end of chapter 12, just to be safe, go ahead and say uh, to whoever it is who is the secondary figure, the one that you do want to be executed, uh, tell them not to break your orders. And then in this chapter, at the end of Profit and Plunder, make sure that you choose option three the whole way through, and you will kill whoever you have selected. That's how you do it, guys. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the <laughs> mayhem and slaughter that ensues. Uh, I gotta tell you guys, I'm not for killing people when it comes to the companions and stuff. Most of the, they've actually done a study. Uh, Eric Musco in one of the live stream dev uh, conversations had said that 61% of all choices being made in the new expansion are light side because most people want to see how things play out with companions. And if they die, they are dead. They're gone. So do be very judicious about using this. However, like for me, I don't really care about Kaleo very much. The only characters I'd even really want to keep her on are an agent that I've already you know, spent time with and uh, you know, gotten her influence up to a certain level but it's up to you guys so uh take care i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this answers some questions if you do have any more questions go ahead and put them in the comments area below and i'll go ahead and answer them for you all right guys take care and we'll see you next time